I want to welcome you all back to Final Fantasy XIV Dawn Trail. So, I've done the MSQ. So, I've done all the side quests needed to, to unlock flying, and I've done all the different dungeons. Now, if you're wondering why you can see me, hello, it's me. Uh, I want my chat log open. As you know, I'm like, uh, a while back, I did a test one where I did an entire episode like this. <coughs> uh, <coughs> ooh, I'm killing myself here. Ah. But yeah, uh, now you're probably want. So yeah, I want my chat log open. So we're doing the uh, raids. We're going in the giant graphics card, and so we're gonna go do the raids. You're wondering why I'm, of course, right here. You can see me. Hello. I want my chat log open, which is right where I am, because I like to see what other people are saying, and honestly, I don't want to record what other people are saying without, you know. Last episode, I did that a couple times, because holy cow, man, I had no idea what was happening a lot of the times, so I need the chat log to be open. So right now, you can see I'm a level 99 summoner, and I also am working on Scholar, which is the same thing. Uh, I haven't really done much, I've been playing Elden Ring, because honestly, I beat the story in this, and now I'm going to slow down and try and finish Elden Ring. Now, I'm wondering if I want to go into the raid as a gunbreaker, and I hope I can actually do the raid, because my item level is not that high, and I don't have any tombstones, so like I said, I haven't really done much. But we shall see. Um, worst comes to worst, I will be a horrible, horrible tank. Or worst comes to worst, like I said, I can always go Sage, but I'm going to attempt to do as a tank. Stylish Stranger, new challenger appears. The stylish strangers eagerly looking about. Let me guess, you're recruiting. Probably. Also, if you wonder why I keep looking down there, I mentioned that before. I have a small second screen like tablet down here that shows OBS and all that, and I am looking at everything. <clears throat> I'm looking down there. I'm <coughs> looking at. <coughs> I have really bad luck in healing saliva today. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Ah, oh, found you at last. Hello. You, my good sir, were born to be born to be a star. Oh, thank you. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Metarin. Oh, Metem. Thought there was an R there for a second. Metem, head of strategic management at. Ascension Arcadia, the premier enterprise for entertainment and Solution 9. Our flagship facility is the Arcadia. Arcadian, a combat arena, and it is is there that we host the Ascension Arcadia Championship. It is the pinnacle for fighters in Alexandria, and I want you to be among them. I don't feel like it. As you may have heard, circumstances have forced us to close the arena's doors for a time, but the time is right to reopen them. Queen's Fiend's death? Might as well, I guess. Yeah. Her Majesty's, Majesty's tragic passing has left her citizens desolate. By providing them with gripping entertainment, it is, it is our hope to help them forget their cares for a while. If we are to accomplish that, however, it will not do to show them what they have seen countless times before. No, they need to see something new. Someone new. I, I think there's a hidden motive behind all this. Just saying. There usually is. And who better than he who not only protected our citizens from the king's army, but struck down the king himself? Yeah, that was you, yes? Mm, yeah, it was. So it was, so it was. And so for your strength and valor, the president of the Federation has marked you to be Arcadia's next great star. Just imagine it, an upstart. The people's protector arrives at, on the scene and challenges the Arcadians' mightiest to rise up as the grand champion. What could be more gri gripping, if I ask you? I don't know. I know something else is happening here. Don't tell me everything. Mm-hmm. For your part, you will naturally be compensated. The finest equipment Solution 9 has to offer awaits you after each and every victory. Hey, you're lying. It's not equipment, it's a type of thing you turn in for equipment. And since it's a new raid, you can only get one of each. For each battle. I wonder if I want the chest piece first. I have to go look at the armors. 
I dare say this has enticed you, but you need to make up your mind right away. If you're keen to test your strength and win rich rewards, then come to the Arcadian at the end of, uh, of this avenue. The attendant will show you in. With that, I bid you farewell for now. I shall look forward to a fath favorable response. Why do I say fathomable? Favorable. I am trying to read faster than my brain. Don't work a lot. It's a graphics card. Hmm. Maybe I should get a new one one day. Eh. Old Bertha still kicking pretty good. 2016's a good year for her. Mostly because that's when I got her made. Oh, Free Company is uh, recruiting. Hmm. Don't care. I'm already in one. I really like this theme, I do. If I ever get a house in this game, which by the way, my money says otherwise, because, yeah, I'm not the best at saving, because usually I'll go, I had like a good eight, eight, eight mil, and then I spent it, because I'm like, I'm not gonna spend it on anything. Uh, give me a second. You're wondering why I'm going here. If I'm doing the Arcadia, and if they duck every raid, there's gonna be four battles. There's always four battles. I want, and you have to, you know, you collect them and all this and that. Okay, gear exchange. Let's see what I can get. Hello. So I'm gonna go warrior, and then I'm gonna see what we can get here. Never mind. Uh, I think I want. Is it you? Actually, yeah. Let's check out what the armor looks like for fending. So immediately, okay. So I haven't checked these out yet. I haven't been here, and I'm actually quite curious. So this is what you can get with Tomestones of Poetics, and I gotta say, um, I actually kind of like it. And also you can color it too, which I really like. Hmm. I could probably do something with that with my Gunbreaker, I'm not gonna lie. I actually really like it. All right, now, what do you look like for the new one? <laughs> Ah, okay. Yeah. I know. This is the one you see all the soldiers in the town swimming around with. Okay. Alright. And Villagramanda, Zorolja, which I checked them out already. Okay. Yeah. Where do you turn in... Give me a second. I'm trying to find. Where do you turn in your? I mean, not you. You're. You could buy a mount. Yeah, for seven mil, which I'm not going to be anywhere near there for a while because I don't do anything that will give me money. I'm, I'm sorry, but shouldn't I be able to? Is this it? No, that's the augmented version. Where's the uh? Did I, oh, is it not unlocked? Because I'm looking for the trader of the raid gear. But I don't see it. So that means it's not unlocked yet? You'll have to forgive me. I am just starting. It's noon my time, as you can see. It is a Friday, but for me, it's a day off. I work four days a week, ten hours a day. Why I can push so many of these out sometimes. Man, so far this is my favorite location in the new expansion, personally. I get fancy star vibes. I should play one one day. Ah, Vader. Master Medem has been expecting you. If you follow me, I would take you to him. Where do I turn in the raid gear? I don't know where to turn in the raid gear. What do we have here? Oh. oh, if you're wondering, I got a new chair since I last shared my screen. I actually quite like it. Got it on sale. It's like a hundred bucks. It's a really nice gaming chair. You came. By this, I take it you will fight in the Arcadian. Allow me to be the first to welcome you. Don't get the hiccups now, please. I welcome you to fold. Now then, I shall explain to you. Let me guess, each one is a certain raid boss, or are they just cat, like, regulars? 
I have no idea who you guys are. We got Kitty Cat, a uh, muscle man, and girl who looks like a gamer. Hmm, you look like you got some fight in you, I suppose. Still, you can only be a, uh, be so strong without being a soul shifter. You wouldn't last long against soul shifter. Well, aren't you just a... Oh, no. Country bell type thing. Well, aren't you just a tree? I look forward to meeting you on stage. Not ever doing that. You're a puny candle before my roaring flame. Make it to me and I'll blast you out of the ring. Well, that's a welcome. Okay. Guess that's that. Those are some of the fighters you will face. They are all... <clears throat> Characters, as you can see, but I hope you do not take offense at their words. Consider it their way of welcoming you. Now, where was I? Ah, yes. As I mentioned, the Ascension Arcadia Championship is a fighting competition. The realm's mightiest duke get out in a bid to become the grand champion. I've no doubt that all Alexandrians will be captivated by your journey as a challenger and cheer you on as you fight your way up the ranks. And speaking of ranks, the fighters of the Arcadian are divided into three tiers, lightweight, heavyweight, uh, lightweight, cruiserweight, and heavyweight. So there's this one's gonna only have three tiers, okay. The ultimate objective is to become the undisputed champion in all three tiers, and thereby rise up as the grand champion, okay. As a rookie, your campaign begins in the lightweight tier, where you must defeat your three rivals ranked therein. So there's three battles, this, okay. Three battles, three tiers. There's gonna be nine total. Goodness gracious me, I almost forgot to mention a most important thing. The Arcadian has its own repository of feral souls, which our fighters utilize in battle. So potent are these souls, they alter the fighters' very forms, lest you wonder it is the potency of the souls employed that separates the champion's three tiers. Ah. Uh. Yep. That dungeon where he became a snake. Or even Zorolja when he became that embodiment of himself in a way. Now I've I'm give I'm given to understand you do not use a regulator. Even when you face the king, you did not rely on any souls of any kind. That is most impressive indeed. But that as it may, it would be egregiously unfair for you to compete with not to balance the scales. So I'm allowed to bring in friends, and that explains that. Fortunately, here at the Arcadian, we also have souls of former champions in storage. We'll use them to create- yeah, okay, so you're gonna- I am the only one technically fighting, and I'm fighting with dead people. Okay. And to make sure they will work with you like a well-oiled machine, we will draw them upon your memories to fine-tune their appearances and abilities to your liking. Interesting. Uh, that sounds a lot like the Endless, in a way, of course. Endless, I'm not familiar with that term, but I assure you there is nothing up toward, untoward in the technology we, what we employ. It simply brings forth a temporary simul simulacrum. And for the purpose of evening the odds, I believe seven of these simulacra should suffice. What do you think? And that should make eight. Two tanks, two healers, four DPS. Using souls for entertainment is wrong. Hmm, I had expected that you might harbor reservations about the use of these souls. Those who hail from outside of the barrier often do. And so I have a proposal, an addition, additional incentive, if you will. For each victory you claim, I shall release the souls of those who fall beside you. You, my friend, will be the star who brings fresh change to Arcadia. So what do you say? Are you willing to fight under those terms? Yeah, sure. Man, I hate your mustache. Excellent. Now I will tell you more about the Arcadian. But let's save it for after your first bout. After all, it'd be pointless if you end up losing straight away. I mean, 
probably might happen. Who knows? And also, hopefully I have an item level. If not, I'm gonna just have to buy earrings or something. What? With that, I officially welcome you to, as a fighter of the Arcadian. When you are ready to take to the arena, you need but say the word. Alright. Let's do this. Claw in the dark. Minim gazes you expectantly. Oh, I'm actually going to do that. You're ready then. Excellent. Rest assured, I will be here to guide you in the beginning. What's the item level? Because I'm very curious because I have not done anything. And I could have grinded and I did it. Now, I shall introduce you your first opponent. Pray looking on at the monitor. Ah, it's you. This here's Black Cat, feared as the claw in the dark. Ah, so Panther in a way. That's right, she's the one who took your measure earlier. While she's still a rookie herself, you'd be wise not to underestimate her. She has real talent and is expected to go far. Her feral soul is Kath Pug. A terrible feline said to have pushed a legendary hero to his limits. With its power, she becomes unimaginably nimble, and her very and her very claws can rend steel. You need to keep your wits about you. Oh, great. Now you should know uh, what the ring is uniquely configured to com Now you should know that the ring is uniquely configured to complement the playing style of your foes. This is in order to provide the audience with a spectacle. After all, we're first and foremost in the business of entertaining. A simpler note, I should mention that I'm also the commentator for matches. Leave it to me to squeeze every drop of excitement out of your fight. Now then, you have best seat of your preparations. May you emerge victorious in your debut. I'm gonna take you the slammer. I'm gonna take you down the pound town. There it is. The AAC lightweight heavy lightweight championship one. All right, what's the equipment level? I got enough. Okay, um, gotta leave. I was afraid of this. I really was. I knew I wasn't having enough. This is why I have a couple regular tombstone poetics still on me. Worst comes the worst. I could do a couple dailies too and get some there. All right. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I was worried that was gonna happen. Oh well. I want a tombstone exchange, and I want to change out, honestly. Change out the necklace first, and a ring. Accessories. Right, that's it I can do for now. There we go. Just enough. And then, um, I'm gonna sort. By the way, if you're. Wait, what is that armor set? Oh, it's Scholar. Give me a second. Um. Summoner. I didn't do that yet. Save. I never liked the horns on Summoners, by the way, so I'll always change it. I get Summoners and Past Final Fantasies always at the horns. Never cared for them. All right, and then Scholar, we have your armor. I wish I didn't sort it, but I already did, so it's too late. Look for the ones that are locked. There we go. That's the easy way to do it. Oh, the head. Never liked the headwear of Scholar either. But hey, there you go. Scholar actually looks pretty fine. All right, Scholar's good. Gunbreaker has a 687. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, Poetics are gonna be useless. Now, 
I have... Ne never mind. Okay, but I do have enough. I can do the first battle. <sighs> I usually don't tank in these, so this is either going to be poor or interest. You know, actually... You. Uh, this is going to be very interesting. All right. Let me change my chair real quick. I want to sit forward a little more. All right. Right about. All right. Now we wait. The waiting game. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's the relic exchange. Okay. What do I want? That's the hard. That's savage. Okay. What do we have? All right. Let's see what the tank set looks like. Once again, I'm not even looking over there. I'm keeping my eyes to the left and... Oh, that's an interesting looking style. I mean, I don't hate it. That's interesting. Maiming. Might as well check it out while I'm here, I guess, while I'm waiting in queue. Okay, now what the striking look like, which that I might do when I finally level up my samurai, which got nerfed. Ugh. Least favorite. Least favorite. Okay, what does scouting look like, which I probably won't touch for a while, because I really don't do scouting much. Scouting's meh. Aiming, let's see what you look like. I love Machinist. Machinist is a decent class, and... Man, they love studs. Alright, what do spellcasters look like? I'm actually now curious. Which, usually, uh, casting and healing look about the same. Not bad. And, uh, well, let's just hop into this, shall we? And regret my life decisions of going as tank. Okay. Got this. Well, while I'm doing this, I guess I could still do this. Healing. Yeah, looks about the same, but this one's white and red. So, yeah, it's, it's fine. I can tell what style they're going for. More of a street punk style in a way. Here we go. AAC Lightweight Championship. There I am. Hey, kitty. Here, here are all the dead people. A rookie on the rise with razor sharp claws. The ferocious feline. Claw in the dark, black. Oh, yeah, there's the commentator guy. Finally hearing him. Ha, <laughs> the bell. Now, take it, jumping outside the ring kills you instantly because it's a count out. Oh, okay, he's main tanking. Ooh. I'll do my best to heal you. And the watch. I hope you're ready to be ripped to shreds! Our challenger's first opponent, Blackjack. Can they hold their own against our feline ferocity? A little too much on the screen, I gotta turn on particle effects for my- I shot these just for you. Just follow on everybody. Yeah, it's a bit too much on the screen. Beautifully judged. Oh, you're an emerald weapon. Can you dodge this? I wonder. Are what? Can you dodge? I don't know what this is. Oh. Never mind, I accidentally dodged it. Try this. Oh, 
Yeah, the effects are a bit high. I'm gonna have to turn them down a little. It's a shame because I like seeing them, but they're um Oh. 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 <laughs> Please bear with us while we repair the ring. That was bound to happen. I'm sorry. First time doing it. Coming up. from the Wraith and the Shadowbringers. Alright, I'm seeing... Oh, wait. Uh, don't, I won't be here with you guys, right? I wasn't paying attention. And then... Yeah! Even I felt that one! Oh! But the challenge is still standing! as much as I could.
I was gonna pop my thing, but it, it, it just follow them. Follow them. Oh, that hurt. Now. I'll turn to the particle effects in the next battle. Come on. We're there. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah. Accommodation, give it to the healers, they always deserve it. Fine. It's all over until next time. I need the chest piece. If I don't get that, uh, let's go with boots or pants. I'm gonna pass on the earring, I'm gonna pass on the helmets. I'm gonna get the pants, so I'm gonna get pants first in this raid. Oh, I, I pass on you. We knocked the cat out. What do you have? White paint. Okay. Got. Oh, wait, what? I got the chest piece? I thought for sure someone else is getting the chest piece, not me. Uh, I'll take the chest piece, sure. I just need four of them, though, so I won't be able to get one this week. Hey, guys, look at that. Victor. Bravo, bravo. You were simply magnificent out there. I know, we broke your ring a few times, too. The present's eye for talent is keen as ever. So, now that you have your first victory under your belt, I shall tell you more about the Arcadian. The championship traces its roots to the time in Alexandria, long before the coming of the Trilly people. It was very different in the beginning, though, with matches pitting recreated Simlacara against each other. Mmm. That's right. The very same that you fought at your side, but with the advent of soul-derived resurrection, battles to the death between living combatants became the norm, and all without any actual deaths, because we all came back to life. The contestants evolved once more after Zorolja was made king. It was he who proposed the use of feral souls to enhance one's flesh, leading the technology for its being devised. So it was that combatants took the, uh, on the power and likeness of beasts, and the audience experienced newfound heights of excitement. However, when Zorolja raised the banner of war to embark on his conquest, all feral souls were, were reserved for the army's use. And that's why this place is shut down, because he used feral souls. We had no choice but to suspend operations at the Arcadian. What happened afterwards, I believe you know. Having gone mad, the king was vanquished by your hands, and shortly thereafter, our beloved queen was taken from us. Though we were, are thankfully safe now. Sadness and uncertainty darken our hearts. I don't think she's dead. She still had a receptor. Her crown. Some may think it in poor taste to resume the championship now of all times, but it is now, most of all, that people need cheering up. And as I mentioned, when we first spoke, we wished to help them forget their cares. Did you see how the audience roared when you, the upstart challenger, triumphed over our rising rookie? You captured the imaginations, and I hope you'll continue to do so. Hey, I knocked you out. How you doing? Oh, she looks half. Oh, no, oh, never mind. Oh, put my coffee down. She's mad. Oh, I can't believe I lost someone who hasn't eaten. Who wasn't even using a feral soul? What are you? Uh, warrior light. I can't leave things like this. Say, 
Hey, would you mind if I watched you for a while? Don't worry, I don't have any hard feelings. I'm just curious, that's all. About what you can do. Uh, be my guest. Also, I like her eyes. They're actually really cool. Hmm. But yeah, that's a mixture of emerald or ruby weapon with claws, uh, carbuncle from pandemonium with its jumping attack, and then... The other one that breaks the ground and you have to dodge it. Ah, oh, damn it, I forgot the name. Hey, Black Cat, how you doing? Don't mind me, I'm just gonna watch you quietly. As fickle as a feline, that one. But I do hope you won't hold it against her. Deep down, she has a good heart. Uh, honestly, give me crit. I'll take crits any day. Sweet poison. Metem would introduce your next opponent. Although unexpected company has appeared, let us focus on the match ahead. Mm -hmm. Better. Allow me to introduce you to your next opponent. Is it the gamer type looking girl with the jacket? No, sorry, the uh, the bumblebee. This is Honeybee Lovely, the darling of Arcadian. As you can doubtless guess, she utilizes the soul of a bee, an extremely venomous one at that. But rather than her poison, you should be wary of her ability to charm all before her. For in addition to her winesome charm, she serves, which serves her well as a songstress, she can produce the pheromones of a queen bee to enthrall even her foes. Those who fall under her spell delight in the torment she unleashes upon them. Which is why the audience will be speculating via special contraptions cloaked in holograms. It wouldn't do to have hundreds of people be enthralled. In short, there's nothing lovely about her. Despite what she may she may she might claim, you're in a bad in for a bad time. This sounds like a weird fight. That may be so, but I have faith that you will prevail. Now sally forth and show us your medal. I'm going against uh chick who has a spear of a bee who uses poisons and mind controls. Now enthralls you. It sounds weird. M2 is now accessible. We're getting these out of the way today. Maybe, hopefully. All right, uh, can I do it? I can. Also, I forgot to read this. Ah, damn it. At Medem's invitation, you have entered the As Ascension Arcadia Championship, a competition in which the greatest fighters of Alexandria face off in a bid to become champion. Yet your opponents wield feral souls to augment their strength, so you, in turn, must use the simulacra of past warriors to balance the scales. Your debut match is against Black Cat, a fellow rookie harnessing the power of Kath Pulg, and if you are to seize victory against this feline foe, you shall need to be agile indeed. And now we're going against this one. Having best of Black Cat, you prepare to face your second opponent, Honey Bee Lovely. Which the pheromones of a queen bee and the charm of a songstress, she enthralls her foes before finishing them with deadly venom. If you are to resist her charms, you must steal yourself for captivating confrontation. Immediately in, here we go. I swear if that song's playing in the background, oh boy. Eh. It's like if I hear the Titania song now from the Titania fight, I'm like, oh god. I did the Savage of that fight, and it's the only one I did. Man, I was actually getting really good at the fight. I could hold all the lightnings and all this and that. I was... I side tanked because I was the guy who took all the chain lightnings. I'll be like, give it to me. Superbal. Stay away from me. Take the first blast, though. If you pop too early, you will die. You wait until you take that first blast. Then you pop it. Oh, that song's gonna be playing in the background. Oh, okay. Hopefully it's not annoying. 
That's gonna be interesting. Got a warrior? Oh wait, no. Uh, what's the other tank? Uh, I don't see one. Oh, she has had a chromia. It's two different colors. This starlet with a stick. The adorable but deadly. Sweet but poisonous. Honey, be lovely. Interesting look. You remind me of. Hmm. You know. Hmm. Okay, we got Paladin. Your main tanking, understood. The Honeybee Lovely Show has begun. Let's put on a lovely show for the audience. Mm -hmm. Oh, she has a voice. Submit to your lovely queen. Oh, I see it. <laughs> I forgot to turn down the my bad. Oh, wait, in the middle. So that means that she gonna do a... Oh, that's actually a really... A big... Stay away from me, please. All right, even if I'm side tanking, I am dealing with the tank busters also, understood. Happening. Now to say that he's still at Honeybee's charms. Oh, she's definitely feeling your love. Uh, what do I do here? Can the challenger resist the irresistible? I know I can't. That's a problem. Ow. That's an ow, easily. No. No. Uh -oh. Alas, her charms were not to be denied. Help me. Help me. Okay, this just picked up in difficulty. I'll make you mine. Yeah, she does have a country. Love me tender. Elvis Presley, baby. Love me tender. Love me sweet. Away from crime. Easily, I see it. No, actually, you're hard. Perfect game. Did I just give him my thing? Whoops. A little taste to make it interesting. I didn't untarget off him, and so when I did that, it immediately went to him. Back in the way. I know what this means, and the AoE's bigger than I thought. There it is. There's honey now everywhere. Nope, nope. Here comes our fearsome venom strike! No hard feelings, if I kill you? Uh, you know what? I, I do think there are hard feelings if you kill me. Please don't. Stack on deaths. Uh, stack on deaths. There we go. What? Are oh, you kidding me? It didn't work? B is for brilliant. 
Oh, 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 I see it now. Oh, oh okay, I was about to get hit. No, 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 gotta move, gotta move, faster. Listen, man, I gave you my shield, don't die. Okay, we're good. Oh. Sloppy work here. Oh, you're kidding me. What a clash! Neither side is willing to eat. I'm gonna die, but let's do it. This is a really sloppy battle on my part. Move, 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 move. Sides, stand the sides, watch for the rotation. Deaths, be careful. Deaths is real gutsy. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, this might hurt me. Oh yeah, that hurt. Back on their feet. What green? I have nothing. You. I'm gonna die. Saw that. There's no. Down. Is it over already? While I'm dead, let me just do this. Never mind. We're just getting started. This is a real rough battle for me, I'm not gonna lie. I got two? Alright, I'm out. I'm not grabbing any. It's up to you guys. I 
hate this. This is my least favorite part of the battle. I get my butt kicked every time. Oh my! The challenger went down hard. The healer might have to LB. Healer might have to LB. Oh, no, bad, 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 bad. We lost the DPS. All right, well, that's happening. The honeybee lovely show has begun. Sorry, I'll turn down after. Oh, we tried, but I failed. Sides, sides, sides. Just gonna keep doing my ranged attack. Back I go. Tank Buster, stay away from me. Beautiful! Now I'm getting it down. Look at my health. Younger again, she's doing the station. Thanks. <laughs> 
stood up honey these charms. Oh, she's Look at the background. Video. They're all cheering. It's adorable. Okay, Can stop looking at the background. I know I can't. Just getting away from everybody, so I accidentally. Oh, actually, okay, this will work. This was mine. Get out of it. Okay, fine. You can have it. Nope. Here we go. Damn it. I'm... Oh. Alas, her charms were not to be denied. I got you, man. Don't worry. I'll make you mine. He might die. I might have to probably take over seven T soon. I'm protecting yours as much as possible. No. Damn it, I didn't make it in time for you. Is everyone having a good time? No. Well, let me just do that. Addle. You fool! Oh my god, you played with. Mm. to make it interesting. And I'm gonna just come over here and do my thing. Everyone just relax. Oh, wait. Nope, nope, nope. Wanna go back over here. Can we not? Here comes our fearsome venom strike! Very hard, very feeling. I got gotcha. you. What? Are you kidding me? It didn't work? B is for brilliant. Honeybeans Do this. We know what's happening here. It's Ifrit. I'm protecting that paladin. He's at the moment more important than me, but my life is still important because I have to absorb tank busters. And without me, oh boy. Move, move, move. No, over here I go. God damn it. We're just getting started. Who's my obedient little babe? Not me. They have less. Oh dear. Here they come. All right, keep an eye out for people. If they get the three, I'm gonna try and... Oh, 
Okay. I'm getting better at that. Stay away from me. Even I felt that one. Oh, but the challenge is still standing. I try. B is to break you to a bloody pulp. Oh, I hate this part. All right, time to just get moving. I'm happy. Yeah. I'm staying over here. I'm not coming near you. Oh my! The challenger went down hard. Wait, someone died? Oh yeah, someone died. Oh no. They're still in it! But for how long? Get away from me. Down a bit. It's getting pumped. KO. The <laughs> match is decided. Victory mm. goes to the <laughs> challenger. Thank you, Paladin. You did a great job. 
All I could do is try and keep him up sometimes, but then focus on me when the thing buster came. Woo, that hurt. I'm gonna give it to you. It's all over. Until next time. Okay, what did I get again last time? The chest piece. I might as well just go for the chest piece sauce. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna honestly pass on. Uh, you know what? I'll just need everything and see what I get. I got the leggings. Okay, I got one chest piece and one leggings. Ooh, man, that one. Give me a second. I need to remember where it is. There it is, show limited. That should help. Okay, let me check shipping on something real quick. I'm getting a package today. It's all right, one o'clock. What have I been doing all day? Nah, it's I got a new water ball for my head chugs because you keep knocking the one down. Okay. I got my butt handed to me. Oh, we tried, but that that tank limit break three did save us from that attack. But we had the three stacker and we couldn't do anything and then yeah there was nothing we could have done there it sucked all right well, the performance that was i knew you could do it my friend i think you actually managed to take down honey take honeybee down you're a re the real deal with this victory you're not eligible to challenge the reigning champion the lightweight champion yeah lightweight uh the light heavyweight champ uh, i keep wanting to call it championship the lightweight heavy the light heavyweight division and as eager as I am to see you claim the crown, it may take some time to make the arrangements for the match. While you wait, why not find yourself a second? That is someone who supports you by gathering information on your opponents and giving you advice on your training. Wait, if he needs a second, then let please let me do it. Those who lose are allowed to fight for a while, so I'm free. But, but of all, I'd like to see the person who defeated me defeat everyone else too. Hmm, as an active fighter, suppose you would know your opponents better than most. If Bader is willing, I certainly wouldn't object. I guess. I'd be happy to black cat in my corner. I don't think she can backstab me anyways, and I think she's actually, you know, eager to learn. You, you, you won't regret this. Now, if I'm to be your second, you ought to know my real name. I'm Yana. I look forward to working together. Yana. Hmm. Young though she is, Yana is a certified fighter of the Arcadian. With her knowledge of her opponents, I do believe... I, I, I believe she is a sound second cho uh, choice for your second. Let's head to the, my gym. It's a bit messy, but it's far more comfortable than this dreary old place. As you seem to have everything well in hand, I will excuse myself. I shall see you again when it's time for the match. Again, I'll go. Actually, you know what? We'll go direct hit. Bum, 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 bum. Ooh, baby. Okay. Yana's yarn. Yana is keen for a change of scenery. Right then, follow me. The gym isn't too far from here. Oh, I just remembered. My Chloe's notebook is probably expired by now. Been a while. Well, at least I can sink all my time in Elden Ring and try and get that beat. Oh wow, everyone's just following me. Hey, are you Bader, the fighter who doesn't use a regulator? It's not only fight, but win without using a feral sword. You're absolutely amazing. I'll be cheering you from now on. I'm so surprised when I saw you in the ring. You're the hero who protected us from the soldiers. I've been your biggest fan ever since. You'll win the next match too, I know it. Man, it feels like Final Fantasy X at the beginning when you're at Xanarkin with Titus. 
You heartless fiend. How dare you embarrass our sweet money be like that? I hate you. Uh huh. Yeah, she's bound to have her fans. Enjoy this feeling while you can, new blood. You'll be begging for mercy come your next match. My, the fans are quite riled up today. I understand the need to let out their frustration, but I wish they could find a more productive way in the use of that energy. Ah, but do excuse me. I'm something of a storyteller. I have a keen interest in seeing this champion, how this championship unfolds. Wait have a moment. I would love to ask you a few questions. Wait, are you Black Cat? What are you doing? Keeping company with this bloke who just beat you. That's probably why you lost. You don't have any pride. <laughs> I'd much rather watch your sister fight. Nobody put on a show like Wicked Thunder. This is a never this is never ending. Let's get out of here. Yeah, that gives me Final Fantasy time to uh, 10 vibes after I actually know before the Blitzball game, before Sin Attacks. So he, she has a sister who fights. Used to. Looks like we managed to slip away. Come on, the gym's over there. Hmm. I think I'll be able to visit this gym then, since it's a location they're gonna put in. You have entered a sanctuary. Oh! Yeah, there's a dumbbell. So yeah, this is 100% gym. Is that Sorolja? Huh. Hair worn cleaner. Alright, let's check it out. And here it is. Gritales, Tritales Training, the home of Alexandria's finest fighters. That being said, I'm the only one here at the moment. It's actually, it's also my actual home. The first floor is where I live, and the basement is where I train. Now don't be shy. Go on in and make yourself comfortable. Okay. Let's see how much of a mess it is. She's a single woman, young, and goes to the gym. Please, let's see. Okay. All right. I immediately want to go to this gym. It's a pretty good looking gym, Chloe. That must be her little sister. Pleasure to meet you, mister. My name is Nayuni. Nayuni. Thank you very much for looking after my sister. I beat her up a bit, but yeah, she's fine now. Thanking him for knocking me out, are you? Anyway, as you may have pieced together, I have two sisters, and though they're gone now, our parents were originally from Turul. They happened to be in Yasalani when the dome appeared and ended up trapped. Here they took up work as hunters, but they were always opposed to regulators and never wore them. And one day they went out and never came back. Truth be told, I became interested in you because you reminded me of our parents. Like them, you, you're averse to using souls. We, on the other hand, don't see much of a problem with the practice, so at our sister's urging, we started wearing regulators after our mother and father died. It, it's only because they weren't wearing regulators when they passed that we can still remember them. Whether we're better or worse off for it, I can't say. I was too little to understand when it happens, but I've heard the story from my sisters, so when I see you in a fight, I can't help but feel anxious. And then I knocked your sister out and she can't fight! Vader, I say this knowing your stance, but won't you consider wearing a regulator in matches? If only to revive yourself should the worst come to pass. I've technically died a couple times. I'm afraid you can't change people's minds when it comes to the soul use, Nay Uni. It's a question of culture and upbringing. But rather than talk about such things, we should celebrate. You won two championship matches now, Vader. This calls for drinks. We've only got energy tonics, but it's a gesture that counts, right? 
I mean, let's also start just pumping it. You got some decent equipment in here. I could do some uh, lifts and all that. You're celebrating even though you lost? I can also do some pulls and also work. start with a treadmill, warm yourself up. Turn the TV on, pop it on something. Background noise. Yeah. Huzzah! Oh, this is a happy-go-lucky one. I love the artwork in this place. I really do. I like the artwork on some of the, you know, facilities, the ads and all that. So, after what happened... So what that delightful fan style earlier, I imagine you're curious about my sister. Her name's... Eutrope. Eutrope, and she rose to be, to be the top contender in the heavyweight division. She became a fighter to look after me and the uni first and foremost, but it turned out she was great at it. Hardly surprising, I suppose. She always excelled at anything she set her mind to uh, mind on. She was a natural at combat, and on top of that, she was a master of how she wielded Electrope. Hold on. I'm just the thing. Why did I just... Yeah. Is it a book? Oh! I mean, there's a TV there. Yeah, let's actually use it. Elk? Wicked Thunder was her rig name. She harnessed the uh, Levensteed soul. Oh no, okay, so. Ixion. In conjunction with Electro, and she could shape shift to adapt to her enemy in bad. Uh, I'm confident enough in what I could I can do. Etrope herself taught me how to fight, but I could never emulate her fighting style. Well it also depends what beast soul you have too. The thing is, she just disappeared one day, without saying a word to us. <laughs> she was so close to being immortalized, too. I mean, she's not dead, or you guys would have forgotten about her. Right, you wouldn't know. All Arcadian fighters retire young. Feral Soul's transfiguration is just too much of a burden on the body. Okay, I got a feeling your sister is a monstrosity. Those who fight to the age of 20 are immortalized in the Ascension uh, Arcadia Hall of Fame. This comes with the privilege of moving to the luxury luxury residence of Everkeep's upper level, where they can live out their days in comfort. You trope through all that way when she vanished. I just can't wrap my head around why. I think uh, she might have fused with her beast soul and transformed her, if I had to guess. Well, that's enough reminiscing for now. It can't be long before your next match. So let's head back to the Arcadian. Oh, we didn't even work out. Look at all this equipment. We're letting it go to waste. Hey, little one. Good luck, Bader. And please be careful. I always am. Get those dumbbells to start going curl. Yeah, I need to do some of these. I need to do some of these. Yeah. I swear I know how to work out. I do it a lot. All right, so I gotta go to the Arcadian. All right. Speaking of which, oh, I already turned it down. Never mind. Also, I got the achievement finally. Thanks, you Gunbreaker. Oh yeah, I'll be up here. I did it. I actually did it. Oh. Come on, hiccups. Nope. I'm very lazy. I did it. I got Tinksu Gunbreaker. I don't think I get the mount, though. No. I don't get the mount until I do it 200 times. Damn. I finally got 100 levels. Or I did 100... duties with Gunbreaker. Active. Not fate. Not, not fates. Jeez. Not trust system or anything with people. Get in there. Back to the Arcadian. I need a hundred more and I can get that really nice... Is it Sabertooth mount? I think it's a Sabertooth. Also, I really hope I can do this. If not, uh, I can do it daily as healer and try and get a little more of those so I can get more jewelry. Uh. 
Hey, Yana, how you doing? Shame we didn't actually work out your gym. Here we go, Vader. I'll do my best to support you as your second. No, oh, no. You know, I'm gonna get some determination. I've been getting these. Let's just diversify. Vile heat. Yana's excitement is palpable. If you win this next fight, you'll become a champion of the light heavyweight division. Let's give it everything we've got. Hmm. Yeah, I'm in. I'm interested in this one. The last fight whipped me. Your fight, I died once. All right, let's take a look at your opponent. The honeybee. Holy cow! She killed me multiple times, and then we wiped. Ah, uh, okay, real quick, I'm noticing a theme. Everyone who uses beast souls has heterochromia. Uh, Two different colors in their eyes so far. Oh, it becomes a bomb? That there, I regret to say, is the reigning light heavyweight champion, Brute Bomber. Also, holy cow, that theme. Mmm. He uses the might of a bomb king to ignite all that he touches, but that will be the least of your worries. He's a dirty fighter who will do anything and everything to win. The rules be damned. Countless of his opponents have, have had to be carried to the infirmary. Ooh, I think I really like his theme. But you'll be fine, I'm sure of it. If you bested me, you could best the Brute Bomber too. Now go and blast that lonesome lout out of his own ring. Come back here, the new champion. I was resisting the urge to say lonesome dung eater because I'm playing Elden Ring too. Punch that lonesome dung eater out of the ring. I wouldn't want to touch him with a 10 foot pull if he's a lonesome dung eater. Damn three is available. Can I do it is my question. Please let me do it. Oh, I can do it. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Six, okay, so these are all 685, so I'm fine. The time has come for your title match against the Brute Bomber who wields the explosive power of the Bomb King. Yet, he did not become champion by playing by the rules. If you are to bring this despised heel low, you must prepare to face all that he might... all that he might... may bring to bear. He's a heel. These two, I guess, were faces. He's a heel. I should have ate food. Give me the sticks so my skill speed's a bit better. I really don't do the food. I only do it for the XP boost and all that. I'm not the best player at this game. I'm sorry. I... Also, the artifacting should be a lot better because I turned everyone's too low, but mine is still high. Eh. In regular four-person parties, it's fine, but when it's eight, it's too much. Sadly. Eh, well, not sadly. It is too much. All right, what do we have? All right, this one immediately is a different ring, and I really like it. It's a factory. Hey, man, you want go? Tanking. I'll blow you to smithereens. The brute bomber has muffled his way into the ring. Oh, okay. Ah, me. Even I felt that one. Oh, I know the main still standing. Oh, you you are dirty. You go for the off thing. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, okay, I, I think you want to be over here. Oh.
Oh. Damn it, I'm out of charges. Okay, we're good. Um. Oh, okay. Yep, fall everybody. What is this? Oh! I'm gonna come here. Okay, now we're doing the Ivalice raid with the robot. Okay. You should know that I have a short fuse! Um, follow everybody. Oh! Okay, you look for the short ones, then the long ones. Oh, wait. He's doing the other arm now. Huh. A vicious blow! Oh, that'll leave a mark. The healers are doing their thing. Oh, healers are on top of it. Two white mages. Oh, we're getting pure healing. All right, let me come over here. I don't like you. Are, are you? Is that disease status go away at all? You're suffering trauma. Enough to me. Oh, nope, immediately going there. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. <laughs> Die! I think this looks a lot better, by the way. When we turn it down, they're artifacting. It looks way better. I can actually see what's happening. All right, long fuse. Give me a second, where is he? Okay. Hey, 
Tank Buster. Good, good. Share Tank Buster, man. Here, I'll give you this. Tank Buster, baby. Once. <laughs> yeah, him. KO. Even the when... match is decided. Victory goes to the challenger. First things first, accommodation. Fellas. It's all over. Until next time. I want the chess piece more than anything else at the moment, so I will do that. I'm not worried about accessories. I can buy the ones. I'm not worried about the helmet. I don't have any of those. I'm not worried about the gloves. Um, I'll skip. All right. I got two chess pieces and a pant. I believe you need two pants or three pants and four chess pieces. But that is it. I've done the raid, baby. You did it. You really did it. Even though you beat me, I'm absolutely over the moon for you. It's truly astonishing that you can do it without Feral Soul. With this, you're now the lightweight heavy heavyweight championship. Congratulations, Vader. Now, there's going to be a ceremony to officially crown you champion. All the sundry will be watching, so make sure you wear something you won't regret. I mean, do I have to say anything else? Ready, are you? Then let's get you on stage for your big moment. Um, I'm gonna take, uh, I'll, I'll just take that, I guess. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it only took me about an hour 30 to do this, so there we go. Is there actually dialogue? No. My fellow citizens, we are gathered to recognize a new champion in the Arcadian. A rising star was shot to the top for, of the lightweight, uh, lightweight division at breakneck speed. Without further ado, please give a warm welcome to the man of the hour. Nicholas Cage, the unstoppable upstart, the unenhanced but unbeatable, the one and only Bader Torgood. for me. I am your champion. Hold it right there. Um, uh, your victory was a farce and I refuse to accept it. Oh my, it appears Brute Bomber is unsatisfied with the outcome of his match. Come on, man. You fought with eight of you. How is that fair? Let's sell this one-on-one, -on -one, just you and me.
You're the one to talk about fair. If it's supposed to be one on one, fight without your bloody bomb king. Shut your mouths, I make the rules here. That was her sister, I believe. And he's down. What in the world just happened? The Arcadia is out. Yep, there she is. Oh, so she's not a monster like I thought she'd be. Oh, we're gonna go against her. It's gonna be fun. It trumped. I, I don't believe it. Look at Thunder, the heavyweight fighter who suddenly vanished has returned. I... I will have your soul. Prepare yourself. Wait, what? Uh, I, I like my soul. What's this? Wicked Thunder has just challenged the unstoppable upstart. I want my soul. You can't have it. Alas, as much as I would bear witness to their clash, Wicked Thunder's license was revoked upon her disappearance. I am unable to sanction such a match. What? Intriguing. Most intriguing. This voice. It's the president. I will allow a special exhibition ex exhibition match. Prepare Wicked Thunder's ring. And prepare yourself to upstart. You heard it, folks. By permission of the president, a match will be held. Who will emerge the victor? Nero Terek, witch, or the unenhanced warrior? This is an event you cannot afford to miss. But I was champion. And that's where the fourth battle comes in. Hmm. Uh. So am I doing that now? I am. Yana wears a pensive expression. Yeah, your sister finally showed up and she wants my soul. You trope, where have you been? And why have you come back now? I'm sorry, it's just I wasn't prepared to see my sister like that. It's a shame your big moment was spoiled, but now that the match has been decided, there's nothing for it but to prepare. As a former heavyweight fighter, your tropes more than a cut above everyone you've faced thus far. Even so, having seen how quickly you've climbed up the ranks to become champion, I reckon you're far from overmatched. As Naomi mentioned, a trope, or rather Wicked Thunder, harnesses the Levensteed's soul and employs Electrope in battle. Her ring is a recreation of an imaginary city designed to allow her the full use of her powers. Her bouts are notorious, notoriously so dangerous that there isn't even seating for specters. And while she's my sister, I'm your second, so you go out there, Bader, and you win this. I wasn't expecting this. I won. I was champion. She comes down. Ruins it for me. I'm the winner. What time is it? It's 1.32. Well, I can do it. Let's do it. In the midst of your crowning ceremony, you are challenged by none other than the electrifying Wick Thunder, sister of Yana and former heavyweight fighter of fame. The Ascension Arcadia president has authorized a special exhibition match for this thunderous clash, and now the realm waits with bated breath, wondering who will emerge victorious, the unstoppable upstart or the neotronic rich. Alright, while well, I'm waiting... Food. Hopefully I got the time to do this. I'll give it three minutes in queue, and if it takes longer than three minutes, I will pause it for now because I have to go do something.
Sadly, there is a chance that um, I come across the uh, a new uh, what's the word I'm looking for uh, person. Oh, other tank, main tank. I might come across another new tank to this battle. Which if so, well, I'll empty and I will regret it. And I got a feeling she's gonna be magic use, so I expect to use Heart of Light quite a bit. Hopefully it's a Dark Knight or another Gunbreaker. Two Gunbreakers or a Dark Knight for this fight. Sounds like it might be useful. And she harnesses the power of light trope and it looks like a lightning arena because she has the Levin Steed soul. Yeah, lightning. There's a DPS we're waiting for. Come on, Slowpoke. There we go. I gotta turn my AC on. It's getting stuffy in here. We're getting a lot of rain right now because Hurricane Bertha is coming through. But it's, no, it's not Bertha. God damn it. I was making that joke earlier. Oh, this looks different. Um, so, why are you here and why do you want to fight me? Remember, she shapeshifts. They mentioned that. She's a shapeshifter. The other tank is... Wielding both oh. magic and machina. She's a witch for a new age. The wondrous Wicked Thunder! Oh, that actually looks awesome. Oh, the music. Yeah, it's Ixion. Ha! <laughs> okay, so why give an issue with me? Okay, it's another gunbreaker. We got this. This is nothing personal, but I must have your soul. Take the say, I'm, I'm going to... I love it when they say nothing personal. I'm just going to kill you. Alright, I don't like the looks of that. I'm moving over here. Oh, there's lyrics to the music. Uh, everyone's over here. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to hear this song on my own time, because sometimes songs with lyrics are really good. Watch and learn. I'd rather not. Uh... Oh, look at that massive cannon. Her skills are as sharp as ever. Ow. Oh, oh my god, the ring. Oh no. Okay, I see now.
way. Um,
I want to use it so bad, but hold it until. Just die no, you know what? Pop it. This is the rage. Come on, baby. We got this. Damn it. No choice but to withdraw. turn of events, Wicked Thunder has fled the ring! Our unstoppable upstart is victorious! I died once. So I screwed up where those things are showing up. Alright, there's a story happening here by Did It Tears Complete, baby. Alright, so it took two hours almost. Not an hour. Okay, so there is a chance I can get something. Also, give me something. It's all over. Until next time. Oh, give me the black kitten. Damn it, I didn't get black kitten. Nope. And nope. Uh, can I get the pants? I'll take the pants then. I'll just get the armor sets next week. It's pants, 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 pants. Just give me the pants. It's just two pairs of pants. Give me the pants. I need pants. I don't think I'm getting the pants, guys. I'm gonna have to redo this fight later. You're safe, thank goodness. But for you to actually triumph, it seems you have the stuff to succeed in the upper divisions. I was hoping to have a word with your trope, but she disappeared again. There's nothing else to do for now, so let's head back to the gym. <laughs> Her pickup. Also, I believe the summer uh, event is happening right now, but I don't think I'm going to do that really in a recording. Don't really see a reason. It's only going to be like half an hour. at the gym. Neyuni will have watched uh, the fight home. I wonder what she thought of, well, everything. Come on, let's head in. Hey, I found your sister, the other one. I'm relieved you're on harm, Vader, but what a shock it is to see her, your trope again, and in that manner, she's desperate for souls. Uh-oh. Hi. What are you doing here? Well, no matter. I'm not here to fight you, but to talk to my sisters. Good, because we have a mountain of questions for you. Why did you disappear without word, and what exactly have you been doing all this time? Something. I'll explain everything in due course, but if you want to live, Yana, you need to give up fighting right now. What? Why? Because if you repeatedly transfigure your flesh into a feral soul, you'll eventually develop psychocrosis, an irre irreversible disease where your own soul degrades. Once it's begun, it's too late, and all you can do is wait for death, like me. Ah, that's why she wanted my soul. Okay, that makes sense. This... This can't be true. I knew there were risks, but isn't that why fighters are immortalized? So we can get, uh, get out before it's too late? 
Yana, have you ever met one of the immortalized? The life of comfort promised at retirement is just a lie woven to exploit us and cover up our deaths. But I remember them all. How can that be if they're dead? Rather than the uh, th rather than to new homes, the fighters are taken to a secret facility. There, their regulators are removed and they are kept in, in confinement until they die. And because their regulators are off, no one forgets them. Without their regulators fitted, Everkeep systems have no way of detecting their deaths, nor preserving their memory. I have noticed changes to my body, and so decided to seek the counsel of the immortalized. And when I snuck into the president's office to ascertain their whereabouts, discover the sword truth. I feared I would become another victim if I remained, and so I disappeared and began searching for a cure to the illness. Did you find one? In theory, the remedy is another person's soul, but an ordinary one won't do. No, it has to be surprisingly dense. Uh, hi. Like yours, I bear no ill will, but you're my only hope of survival. Yeah, I only got one soul, so you can't have it. Rather than ambush you in the city and cause a disturbance, I challenged you in the ring, certain I would claim my prize. I knew the president wouldn't pass by the opportunity of a th for a thrilling match, but I would have become weaker than I realized. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to skip that. Next time I will have your soul. Wait, you trope. Even if, you tr even if it is to save yourself, you can't just take the soul of another? It isn't right. That's easy for you to say. You don't live with the knowledge that every single moment your soul's being eaten away. Oh, he's here. Abnormal. Hey, Shorty. Forgive my intrusion. I've come to see how we're faring after your sister's sudden appearance, but I feared I've overheard something most distressing. Sorry, I didn't know either, despite your position of Ascension Arcadia. Had I known, I'd assure you I would not commemorate with such enthusiasm. I wish, it, in the belief of that our fighters were safe, that I enjoy my work. There's only one thing to do. We make the truth public and stop the fights. I don't want anyone else to suffer. Ah, here the entire- Oh no, that's the worst thing we could possibly do. The president shows no mercy to those who get in his way. Should we go public with this secret, no one will be safe. Not you, or me, or any of the fighters. That E-trope has kept silent, I suspect is because she understood this. And if she said anything, you two wouldn't be here. I suppose you're right. In hindsight, it's because he's such a ruthless man that he can cover up the disease. Ah, goddamn! I keep skipping the last sentence. Vader, you are the rise to the very summit of the Arcadian and become the Grand Champion. You see, the Grand Champion has granted access to all the souls in our repository. While it wouldn't be to inten uh, the intended purpose of this privilege, you would be at liberty to release them. By thus getting rid of all feral souls left, the fires would no longer be at risk. With the skill you've displayed thus far, Faith, you can do it. That was my intention anyway. Good, good. Now let's garner... It would garner suspicion if I linger too long, so I should take my leave. If you excuse me. Alright, so that's our plan now, is we're gonna go to be Grand Champion and free all the souls. Problem is, her sister's gonna try and kill me the entire time. As I recall, uh, recall I cannot fight in any matches for a while, and given what I can know... Uh, given what I... Oh, my phone just reset. Oh, the update finally happened. It's just as well, but I'll... Of course, continue to support you best I, uh, as I can. At the same time, Niuni and I'll undertake our own search for a cure for psychocrosis. There has to be a way to save our sister without sacrificing you or anyone else for the matter. Well, let's end this quest and end it for the uh, last uh, piece of um, content for the expansion for now. Until the next big, big patch. Like I said, I will be doing the story, uh, the character role quests as soon as I get one of each up to level 100. 
personally. Which I'm going to have to grind. A bit. Okay. To be honest, I'm still trying to wrap my head around everything. I put on a brave face for Neoni's sake, but the truth is I'm terrified. I'm really glad to have you with us in this. This has become more than just a fighting co competition, but for the sake of our goal, we'll, we'll have to go along with it. So come and find me here when it's time to begin your cruiserweight campaign. Will do. That'll be in, what, six months? Ah, there you are, a new light he heavyweight champion. It's. I have been most eager to talk to you, my friend. Oh, are you the guy? Let me guess, you unlock my savages? I believe a proper introduction is in order. My name is Gabro, and I'm the cartoonist. That is a storyteller in the medium of art. Most of my works are inspired by the battles of the Ar Arcadian, and I'd love nothing more than to chronicle the journey of the uh, unstoppable upstart. I shall make myself available nearby for when you have a moment to share your tales. Yeah, okay, he unlocks savages. He's gonna draw a picture of savages. Okay. Gar uh, Gabro's work is tremendously popular in Solution 9, and the fact that he wants to make a story about you is proof of your own popularity. You could do worse than have a chat with him. Alright, um... Skill... Spell speed! I love my spell speed. Boom, 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 boom. All right, pick someone on your own side. Right. Where is he? Oh, there. All right, let's do this real quick. Ah, oh, Bader's hoping to stop by. Recount the light heavyweight tier. So the light heavyweight division is the lowest division, uh, lowest tier of the championship. You are uh, you surp surpassed one and all by rising, uh, surprised one and all by rising up as champion without the use of barrel souls. It, you didn't stop there. When former heavyweight fighter Wicked Thunder unexpectedly appeared to challenge you, you bested her as well. Never have we seen such drama at the Arcadian. Like most others, I watched your matches at the edge of my seat, but I've been most keen to hear your first-hand account. Per Please stand, spare no detail. Yes, Mr. Bard, that unlocks Savage. We'll not be doing the Savages. I'm not that into it yet. Take, hmm, your words have provided me with insight and inspiration both. With a few embellishments, I believe I can produce a story that will gripe the reader from start to finish. Embellishments. Let me, lest you misunderstand, my work was not to intend to be accurate records of events, in the name of a good story, I may take some liberties with certain details. For example, what if Black Cat had brought even deadlier techniques to bear against you? Or what if Honeybee used sweet facade, concealed a temp terrible temper, had become further enraged? What sort of carnage might have been told if that brute bomber had stooped to lower lows to seize victory? And at last, Wolf Wicked Thunder refused to retreat, resolving instead to fight on. In such manner do I let my mind wander when I produce my works, and this time I'm confident that I have my bestseller on hands. I thank you for taking your time to share your account with me. I wish to continue success in the arena. Savage is unlocked from an artist. And that is everything. Two hours and five minutes. All right. So, honestly, this raid tier went decent. I died expectedly. I was going to die. I think I died in every fight once, except for one of them I died like three or four times, and we wiped, and I didn't die dead. Yeah, okay. But yeah, this was f a fun raid. Not going to lie, I enjoyed it. The music, I'm going to have to listen to more. I was paying attention too much to the battle, but especially the uh, Wicked Thunder, I want to hear her theme. Uh, I enjoyed everything, honestly, at the moment, and now, well, the next one I make is probably going to be those class quests, the real quests. But until then, I've been going on for long enough, i got things to do, and I will see you next time, and hey, bye-bye.